Hiking Devil's Chair and Devil's Punch Bowl. Parking at Devil's Punch Bowl Natural Area is 21 miles east of the junction of the 14 Freeway and Highway 138. After leaving Highway 138, a series of local paved roads lead to the parking lot at the end of the road. The hike begins. Starting out on the Devil's Chair Trail. Looks like I'm going the right way. Pausing at an overlook above Devil's Punch Bowl. The green water tank serves as a visual reference from miles away. The hike goes southwest, before bending back to the east later. As the trail rises, desert views appear. Connecting with the Pacific Crest Trail. The big bend in the hike occurs a little beyond the junction. Starting to bend to the east. It's difficult to ignore the large amount of fire damage from the 2020 Bobcat fire. At least one creek crossing along the way. Walking along the snags. At about the halfway point, across from where the hike started. Beginning to descend toward Devil's Chair. The Devil's Chair Access Trail splits off at the signs. Approaching the fence line. The railing overlooks the contorted rocks below. Approaching Devil's Chair. Arriving at Devil's Chair. Overlook 360.
shots from Devil's Chair. Time to head back. Going back involves regaining a few hundred feet of elevation. Leveling out on the PCT. Distant views of Devil's Punch Bowl. Back on the Devil's Chair Trail, approaching the parking lot. Coming to the parking lot, but getting ready to include Devil's Punch Bowl. Bypassing the lot and going to the trail signs. Officially starting the one mile loop. Overlooking the punch bowl before climbing into it. A creek drains the bottom. Twisted rock formations are eye-catching. The multiple fault lines nearby really do a number on these rocks. Climbing out the opposite end of the loop. Some still images along the way. Reaching the final overlook. Mission accomplished. The hike in review. From the Devil's Punch Bowl parking lot, I began by heading toward Devil's Chair. The hike includes a section of the PCT, while passing through some recently burned forest areas. It arrives at Devil's Chair in about 4 miles. I returned the same way, but then also included the 1 mile Devil's Punch Bowl loop for a complete visit of the area.